Leos, and welcome to weekly tarot forecast for the week of July 20th, guys. We have the new moon in Cancer on Monday. We have a couple planets, Venus, all of them going direct again. We just had that amazing Neo Wise comet. So much energy, so much change. And definitely, guys, check your moon signs for this week. Just because after that lunar eclipse and a lot of the emotions kind of going up, make sure you check those. If you're not sure of your moon sign, you have a free astro calculator down below. Okay, Leos. Now, I will be following up with your weekly love forecast for that week. If you're interested, that link is down below. Otherwise, let's get started. Okay, let's see. And a theme for the week. Okay, let's do this. Page of coins, eight of wands, knight of coins, the magician, ten of cups, the chariot, two of coins, the hangman. Theme of the week is five of wands and the empress. All right, my beautiful Leo, that's my rising. So I'm always excited to see my rising and my moon. So first things first, this is a lot of work this week. This is about research, growing, growing in new directions when it comes to your work, evolving in some way, taking opportunities to brush up on new skills, new areas of interest that might enhance your career, that might enhance your outlets for money, really, so abundance in some ways. When you have the page of coin to the eight of wands, you have a very amazing opportunity this week to really educate yourself, take some time to really hone in on your skills, develop discipline in some way, Leos. But this is good because ultimately this is for career growth, financial abundance, and more importantly, opportunity. Now, things are going to move quite fast this weekend in regards to you might have a lot of clients, your schedules are everywhere, you have more, more than one commitment to yourself and others that you really got to hold down. But this is something that you really, really want. A lot of important conversations are going to be taking place this week in terms of money, education, an opportunity when you have the knight of coins you are being asked to buckle down and honor the commitments you've made the, the, to your dreams to your vision to your life to yourself in some way and even though there's a lot of commitments to honor it's not one of those like Ugh. i mean i'm sure you're not going to love every little aspect but the overall picture you love and so you're getting to work you have the magician and the ten of cups i love this because while the ten of cups is about love and heart harmony and relationships. When you work on yourself, when you value yourself, when you put in the energy to create a life that not only you're worthy for, but that you desire for yourself, your sense of worth goes up. And whenever your sense of worth goes up, guys, what do I always say? Your love rises. And for those who are new, I'll, I'll, I'll lay it down for you. Your financial world and your emotional world always mirror because it has to do with worth, financial worth, self-worth the universe just hears worth right so as we're buckling down we're growing we're learning we're being more disciplined and we turn off the tv turn off instagram and we're focused and we're researching and we're honing and we're creating and we're collaborating in the midst of all of that harmony and love blesses our lives as a result and it comes out of nowhere so it's like a beautiful byproduct of your own self-development we have the chariot and the two of coins so at, obviously, career is going to take off. And again, please let me just highlight, Leo, determination, self-control, discipline are very much the cornerstones of some of the success because while all those natural abilities and talents and skills have gotten you this far, you might have noticed, you know, maybe you're, you, you, you're trying to get up and you really can't. That's where those other qualities are just going to push you on over. What do they say? Like 10% talent, 90% hard work or something like that. But this is what it is in the two of wands. It is a busy week. You're juggling things. You have a lot of things going on. And you're going to notice work is going to take off. Opportunities are going to present themselves. And love is going to automatically flow through your life as a beautiful byproduct of all of this. And while it might not be the focal point, it is a beautiful reward for everything. You have the hangman at the very end of the week. While you start out this, this beginning of this week, focus, determine, researching, trying, honoring commitments. By the end of this week, you're going to have this incredibly different view, not just on your life, but on the meaning and where you're going. Perhaps you've been struggling which direction to go, how to figure this problem out, 
something along those lines and it's going to naturally flip open because you're going to recognize by like just focusing what you have and being disciplined and determined how many things just popped up as a result and it i don't believe in coincidence there's no such thing and as you know as things change you're going to recognize like oh my gosh when i do this this happens when i do this if i i was scared to approach it if i did it and that opened it's like and as a result you are going to feel so much more motivated to be daring to be spontaneous and to take risks in a way that's going to open up more doors for you it's kind of like a domino it's like a little snowball effect if i may theme of the week is the five of wands and the empress let me just get clarity here on the five of wands please Okay, page of cups here. So you might notice this week there might be some verbal articulations or argument in close circles. That could be in your relationships. That could be with your friends. And then you have the empress, right? Did What did we just say? As we work on ourselves, as we create the life that we want, the empress is somebody who births relationships. Now, also, this can be arguments with your children. If you have any children, the, the key here is to maintain your eye on the goal, not to be sucked in, not to, you know, be volatile, but to recognize and watch it like out of body, like, whoa, all the interplay of energies. And this is not about me. This is about this and this and this. And the universe says, look at as you focus and you create the life that you want, this will naturally melt away. Do you remember as you focus harmony in the relationships? The universe is saying, please, even, even if there's arguments this week or disagreements, don't let that be your focal point. Continue to focus on this. And as you focus and grow and you're happy and things are flowing, this will naturally just iron itself out. Okay, so try to be patient. Try to be forgiving. Try to get everybody on board to think about the bigger picture here. Because ultimately, you're kind of going over a little bit of a hump. But well, it's great. It's not a big one. But it's like you're focused. And as you focus on this, you went over it without even, without even realizing it. You know, it's kind of like when you talk to a baby because they're going to get like a shot. And they're scared, but they're distracted. And by the time you don't talk, the shot's gone. Something like that. I hope that makes sense. I hope this serves you, Leo. I'm following this up with your love reading. The link is down below. Otherwise, if you like a more in the tarot session, a soul reading, a healing session, that's also down below. And I will see you next week for next week's readings. Take care.